Hello everyone. Today I am here to discuss about various designs of the implants which Simpladent implant system has got. So each implant system, each design has got its own meaning. So generally uh, we can classify uh, the different implant system into smooth surface implant system and rough surface implant system. It can also be classified as threaded screws and compression screws. I will, you should first understand all these designs and use these implants according to the given situation. By situation I mean to say that depending upon the quality of the bone, you should be able to select what type of implant is best suited in a particular situation. So let us go to the implants, different, different implants. Before uh, learning about the implants, I would like to tell you that e these implants can be broadly classified as smooth surface and rough surface. It can also be classified as threaded screws and compression screws. Now, let us talk about first BCS. These are predominantly smooth surface implants. Here, the abutment head is there. Then you have a shank and then you have a threaded screw. So it is only the threaded screw that engages the bone in this condition. Now this is about BCS and this area does not have much of bone to implant contact. The load is completely transmitted by these threads in the apical area. Now coming on to the KOs, they are basically compression screws. You should understand why a compression. I will talk to you about that in detail later on. But just for your awareness, I will tell you, these compressions are made to compress the bone. That is, say for example, you have lot of soft bone. You have a soft, lot of soft bone. If the bone, if the, if the implant gets through the bone with this apical area which is small, as and when the diameter increases, the bone gets compressed, compressed, compressed. And then you get primary stability. So these are compression screws. They go in at, and at the same point as the implant moves inside, as the implant moves inside, that area, the diameter of the implant goes up. So what happens? The bone around, surrounding that gets compressed. Now if you have a soft bone, what happens? Due to the compression, the bone is corticalized, the soft bone is corticalized and that is how we get primary stability. This is a rough surface implant. This is a smooth surface and this is a rough surface implant. Now coming over to the EX design, this is actually a combination of smooth surface implant and threads. Also I forgot to mention that. This is also a compression. So there is three functions with this. One is in EX design, we have a combination of smooth surface, you have threads and compression. So you can see this design, this design gives you the compression and the threads give you the threaded uh, the engagement of the thread, engagement of the thread to the bone. So it is, it, it functions like a compression screw at the same time if, if in some areas where you have cortical bone, this, uh, this will engage the cortical bone also. So these are ideal for tuberosity region where you have lot of soft bone. And these implants, EX design, my, uh, please remember that this EX design has got self-threading uh, self screws. Even when you make a small hole, osteotomy, in the cortex, remaining the path of the implants can be made by just uh, clock clockwise rotation of the implants. So this is the another, this is EX design. Coming on to the KOS, this is KOS, this is KOS plus. The design is the same, but you have threaded screws in the apical most portion. So it functions again as a compression. This is rough surface, but this area will be smooth surface. This is rough, rough surface, but this is a smooth surface area. 
So this is about okay, this is a combination of compression screws, rough compression screws, and threads in the epical area. This is actually meant for placement into the uh, into the uh, floor of the maxillary sinus. So I hope I hope this is very clear, and I will now go on to the uh, implants. Each I'll show you each implants one by one. So <clears throat> this is the BCS implant. You can see that this is the abutment head where where the processes will be processes will be fitted. This is a shaft, and these are the threads. It is actually the threads which gets engaged in the implant to the to the bone. So most of the loading, all the loading will be by these threads. The load will be transferred through these threads to the bone. You can see that these threads are very very sharp. This is a smooth surface implant, and this is called as BCS. So, as I have said, bone to implant contact is less here, and it, everything lies here. So, this engages into thick cortical bone. It is like you are placing uh, you are placing it into a concrete bone like this, right? So, this is about BCS. So, there is no compression. It is just threads which gets into the gets and engages into the bone. This is about BCS. So this is KOS, which I had shown. This is the compression screws. This is basically rough surface implants, and you can see that the apical most portion is smaller in diameter, whereas the cervical portion is larger in diameter. So as I'm just clearly showing you, as it goes into the bone. the bone gets compressed compressed and then gets fit fitted so when the bone is very soft very soft you can use this implants and then you can corticalize and this is how it will come and stay and you this is how it will come and stay and this is a abutment head where the process is comes and fits so these are compression screws which are rough surface and it is called as kos now i'm going to talk to you about the ex design which is ideally meant for uh uh tuberosity region you can see that there is lot of uh, this is this the design is basically uh, comp uh, of compression and at the same time you can see that there are lot of threads involved in this uh so there are lot of threads involved in this so the this is a combination this is a basically a smooth surface implant uh you have the head here small bending zone for the implants and here you have the compression screws along with compression as well as the threads this as i have said earlier this are these are self threading implants you make a just an osteotomy in the cortical area crustal bone and then you can easily drive in just a small hole here and then you can easily drive in by itself you can just drive in by itself so this is ideally meant for tuberosity region so coming on to the last implant design these are basically called as kos plus you can see that this is basically a rough surface implant which has got compression and towards the apical area you have smooth surface threads this is because if you want to engage the maxillary sinus the flow the flow sinus flow this can even penetrate the sinus floor and can remain there so that so that there is compression and at the same time the threads which engage the maxillary antrum floor of the maxillary antrum the remaining portion alveolar bone will be compressed and then primary stability will be achieved from this so this is all about uh, different designs of implants so uh, probably you have you have understood all these designs the implication of these implants in a circumstance in different circumstances will be talked by me in the next video i hope uh, this will help you and if you have any doubts please do not forget, do, do, do not hesitate to whatsapp me and uh, i will i'm there i'm there to make you understand what each design means thank you thank you all